Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and all else to another episode of me coming up with a creepypasta in 15 minutes. We have had a lot of fun with the previous episodes, so hopefully we will have fun with this one too. So, we've already made a video game creepypasta, and we've made a totally original OC creepypasta, so I think now it's time we try making a lost episode creepypasta. Yes, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a riot, I'm gonna give myself 15 minutes to come up with a story, we'll see what happens. Once the 15 minutes are up, that's it, that's the story. So without further ado, the timer is ready, spell check is off, and my imagination is running wild. Let's go! Alright, the first few seconds before riding are always a little scary, but once you get going, you get going. So, we're gonna start the timer in 3, 2, 1, boom. Okay, okay. Hi, my name is, uh, what, what is my name gonna be? It's gonna be something, uh, stereotypical. Fred. Fred. Let's just call me that for security reasons. Security reasons, yes, yes, yes. I will tell you this story. But if you are expecting answers by the end, prep, 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 what happened there? <laughs> prep, 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 praise uh, to be disappointed. Uh, okay, I, I swear I'm not doing these. I'm not doing these typos on purpose. I'm just, you know, under the pressure. You make mistakes. To be <laughs> disappointed. Uh, there just are none because I am still wrapping my head around this. This ah. So, I was an intern at uh, Disney Studios in. I don't know where Disney has their studios. Uh, I don't know. D Disney Studios in an un un d d disclosed loca location. Jesus Christ! I I don't know what it is with the spelling today. It's not going very well. Uh, in an undisclosed location. Uh, this meant I got exclusive extra access to. Uh, episodes of what? Why? Why did I almost write Simpsons there? Episodes of um, this Disney shows and stuff like that. It was awesome. I had direct direct access to it because. The company felt they had to capitalize on the growing market of intern intern op opinions. It was awesome indeed. One day when I came to work my boss told told me they had a new episode of Disney Disney's Disney's recess ready red fee for me uh, I was shocked shocked was Disney going to revive revive rev kiki rev <laughs> my favorite show since growing up I hope I gulped I hoped <laughs> this revival would be good and faithful to the original and not and not some CGI crap. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have nothing against CGI, but but, but this author does. So let's go. Uh, I 
went into the editing room and the animators told me to sit down and watch and shut up. Uh, what happened next? The episode Epsidio started and it was called um, uh, Spinelli's Spaghetti Reckoning Reckoning <laughs> Spinelli's Spaghetti Reckoning I was confused but but Shrugged it off, offed as, oh god, <laughs> that wasn't meant to be, <laughs> that wasn't meant to be profanity. Uh, shrugged it off as um, a glitch or a joke. Very funny, yeah. The uh, title authors were obviously genius says to think of this hilarious title anyways the episode started and uh, it was normal no weird intros or anything um then it cut to static, not blood red static like in Sonic.exe or something because you gotta fit in pointless references to other creepypastas in your bad creepypasta. <laughs> um, but the static was blue and it was strange. Strange if it looked like something something out of Sony Ve Vegas Sony Vegas <laughs> because this gives um, anyone who wants to make like a fan video of this it gives them an easy out so that if they want to recreate this video they can just go into Sony Vegas and add those TV effects that like all the dead Bart videos did back in the day hell yeah it looked like something out of Sony Vegas once the video came back uh, the audio was distorted and my ears hurt from the loudness hey sorry for the jump cut family business let's keep going all right uh, once the video came back the audio was distorted and my ears hurt from the loudness um, what showed up on screen fright and frightened me to no end. Um, Gus was on screen and his eyes eyes were black with red pupils and they were also crying. Hyper realistic Tear, tears of blood. That's it. The holy, the holy, the holy Bible of of of, of lost episode creepypastas. Hyper realistic blood. Gotta pray now. Okay, let's stop wasting time. Um, Gus then smiled, smiled an eerie grin, and this was the scariest thing I had ever ever seen in my life yeah my parents shell sheltered me for years so don't you question so don't question this Gus told me hell is only the beginning your your mortal soul cannot stop our reckoning 
Reckoning. Uh, you will will fall into darkness, dark the best, and all will be lost. I was shocked, shocked and confused. What was Gus saying? My childhood was ruined and I cried then and there, which was very <laughs> embarrassing in front front of all my co-workers but they looked just as confused as me did they invent this episode or not and if so why were they still watching and wasting important Time. Work, damn it. <laughs> uh, Gus then whipped his head back as if being shot by a gun and disappeared from the frame. The he re animation looked way too good for the early 2000s it was really f fluid and um realistic really fluid and realistic sounds came from the re speakers that should not have been possible but it was okay. One of the other interns had accidentally set off his Aphex Twin album in the background. <laughs> it was not from the episode itself. All good. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, then Gretchen appeared w without her glasses and said, Gla Glasses are for mortals. I ha have transcended. Uh, transcended sight and now see everything clearly as if reading as 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 I freeing my mind I was so confused by this point by this pint <laughs> I had to lay down while watching the rest uh yeah 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 what happened that then the episode ended with mike mikey's is that how you spell his name i don't know i i i i've only like watched the i can't remember their names in the english version because i used to watch this, the swedish dub way back when the episode ended with Mickey's dead body as he laid on the pl playground. The episode ended in static. Everyone was obviously confused after this and we called Walt Disney down to explain himself he was annoyed and said get back to work you slags 
he then went back to his office and I went back to mopping the floors and giving co coffee to people. People. Turns out we had accidentally put on some YouTube recess fan video. Whoops. The end. And that's it. 15 minutes. We made this awful, awful, terrible lost episode creepypasta. What a journey that was, truly. Yeah, I, for some reason, I, I had a lot of problems with, uh, with spelling this time, but hey, hopefully that contributed to the fun factor of this particular scary story. Let's name this, this story. Recess Lost Episode Spinelli's Spaghetti Reckoning. Yes, yes, that's it. And I and I also really appreciate that Spinelli made no appearance in the actual episode. It's beautiful, beautiful. Here it is. The entire the entire story, all written in 15 minutes. Recess last episode. Yeah, I think that one I think that one turned out fairly alright in my opinion. Making a random 15 minute creepypasta, you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, that's basically that. A lost episode creepypasta made in 15 minutes. I finally got to make a story with hyperrealistic blood, so there's that one in the bag. With that said, I think that should be that. Thank you very much for joining me on this spectacular journey through uh, Disney, Recess, and all that kind of stuff. That should basically be that. Hey, thank you very much for watching this video. I certainly hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed it, wanna leave a like and comment your thoughts down below. Don't forget to also subscribe. Check out my social medias if you want to, or my Patreon page. Thanks again for watching everyone, stay awesome. Good bye.